In this session, let's learn about revoking object privileges. We know, if you remember, we have created a table called customers in the schema. Sys, you see here, select star from sys dot customer. Right? And we gave select and delete to John. So, why don't we revoke those permissions? Okay? So, revoke, select, comma, delete both the permissions on sys.customer from John. So, we are revoking those both permissions. Revoke is succeeded. Now, let me connect to John here. John 3, 4, 5 and let's try to see if you can select from sys.customer nope he doesn't have any permissions because the DBA has revoked his permissions and if you remember last time John had these privileges with grant option that means he was able to grant the select and delete on the sys.customer to Tom do you think even the select and delete privileges for Tom are also revoked? Let's check it out. So, let's connect to Tom. Tom123 and let's try to query. Sys dot customer. Yep, even the privileges of Tom are also revoked. Good, right? You saw the distinction between system privileges and object privileges. In the system privileges, Tom didn't lose his create table option. But whereas in the object privileges, since select and delete was revoked from John, automatically even Tom was revoked. Okay, remember this difference. Okay.